Hi, my name is Kyle Daly with KH Daily Knives. Today, one of the things I'd like to show you is some file work. I get asked a lot of questions about how I do my file work, and it's one of the things that helps set your knives apart from any knife that can be bought at any at any store. So, first thing we uh, we talk about what is file work. File work is the design. I usually like to put it on the spine uh, where the handle goes and then fill in the little spots with epoxy. I think that really sets it apart, gives it a really cool look. So we're going to go about talking about uh, how we lay out the, the marks first. All right, so the first thing I do is mark out the lines on the knife. You might not be able to see them that well. I, paint, I use marker to make them black, and then I like to use this ink ruler to mark out every quarter of an inch. That's what I usually find for a lot of my patterns, helps to, helps to keep it even. One of the things I really like about this ruler is it has little slots in it so you can just tick mark all of your, your little lines on there. It really helps keep it even. I like to use a carbide scribe. Uh, this one has a magnet, it's really easy to, to stick it to things, keep them around the workbench. So now we're going to get ready to use the, the Fordham tool. It has a big electric motor up here with a foot switch and a handle. I have a 3 16 diameter burr in here that really makes it easy to, to put in all those half moons. There's a foot pedal down below that gives you uh, adjustment of how fast that goes. So we're going to grab one of our blades here, clamp it down on the vise. I like to put the shaft behind me, it's a little easier to hold. And then we're going to uh, come in here and do our half moon. Alright, now we have our half moons in. One of the things I forgot to mention is always make sure you wear safety glasses when you're you're working with this. This the especially the the Fordham tool with the burr makes these little tiny slivers that can get in your eye really easy. Just make sure you keep the safety in mind when you're when you're working. Now we're going to use that triangular shaped file that I was talking about before. We're going to come in here at an angle and we're going to put in our first first thorn. Now we're going to take that thorn and blend it into that, that first half moon. So it curves from the, the point into that first half moon. Now we're just going to repeat that over and over again until we get to the end of the blade. Now we'll do the same on the other side. All right, so the last thing we do before it's finished is we just check to make sure everything's nice and even, that we didn't miss anything. Uh, so I just like to even out some of the points kind of make some, make sure all the, the curves into the, the points of the thorn are nice and transitioned. So everything looks uh, very symmetrical here. This one's done. Alright, that finishes up the, the thorn file work pattern. The uh, thorn pattern is one of the most traditional patterns 
A lot of knife makers put it on their knives. It really adds a good custom touch, handmade feel. None of them are exactly alike. They all just look a little bit different. One of the things I really like about the different handmade knives. So if you like the video, please like it, and I'd always appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you have any comments for things I can do better in the video or have other questions that I may have missed, please ask them down below. I'm always willing to answer questions. Also, uh, if you have any other ideas for videos to do, please uh, mention those down in the comments also. Remember, life's too short to have a dull knife.